These are my Europa Match Day 6 predictions and betting tips. Guys, there's a lot of games to get through, so we're going to keep it short and sweet in today's video. But if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop us a like on this video and drop your predictions down in the comments. Let's get in to the first prediction. First up, we got Ren taking on Villarreal. Now, whoever wins this game will end at the top of the group. Ren only need a draw to secure themselves the top of the group and automatic qualification through to the next round. But Ren coming off a 3-0 win over Maccabi Haifa where Ren absolutely dominated the game. 70% possession. Maccabi Haifa didn't register a shot on target. Now in the, in the previous leg, Villarreal ended up winning the game 1-0. Virial also coming off a 3-2 win over Panathinaikos. Um, Virial, Virial led 3-0 and then almost let them back into the game. But they managed to secure the win. This is a very, very important game for both sides. I think Ren at home are going to get this done. I'm going for a 2-1 Ren win. And my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Next up, we got Karabakh taking on Hacken. Now, this is a very, very big game for Karabakh. They're coming off a 2-2 draw against Molde away from home. To be fair to Molde, they were by far the better side there, but Karabakh managed to equalize in the 95th minutes. Now, Karabakh and Molde are, tied on, are both tied on points in second. A win here for Karabakh could see them go through into the playoffs. And the last time they played against Hacken, they beat them 1-0 away from home. Now, Hacken coming off a 2-0 loss against Bayer Leverkusen. They didn't play badly, but Bayer Leverkusen are just such a good side at the moment. They were always going to win that game. Hacken have lost all five of their games, and I don't see much change in here. I'm going for a 3-0 Karabakh win. My betting tip is Karabakh at a handicap of minus 1.5. <laughs> Next up, we got Panathinaikos taking on Maccabi Haifa. Now, this is a bit of a nothing game. They both sit third and fourth with no chance of making it into the playoffs or automatic qualification. We spoke about both of their games. Panathinaikos coming off that 3-2 loss against Villarreal. They just got completely outplayed in that first 50 minutes. Almost got themselves back into the game. Maccabi Haifa, that 3-0 loss against Wren, simply got outplayed. Didn't register a shot on target. The last time these two teams met was a 0-0 draw. I honestly think this one could go either way. I'm going to favor the home side here and go for a 2-0 Panathinaikos win. My betting tip is Panathinaikos to win. <laughs> Next up, we got Union SG taking on Liverpool. Now, Liverpool have already qualified in first. Union SG need to beat Liverpool and to lose, need to lose for them to go into the playoffs. A very, very unlikely scenario. Union SG coming off a 0-0 uh, against Toulouse. But it was a bit of a stalemate. Union SG did create the better chances. However, the last time they played Liverpool, they ended up losing 2-0. Now, no, Liverpool coming off a dominant 4-0 win over Lusk. Diaz getting a goal, Gakpo getting two, and Salah getting a goal. They also now sit at the top of the Premier League. So just a team that's really in good form. I do think they'll probably play a weaker side here, given that they're playing Manchester United this weekend in the Premier League. I still think they'll just edge it. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 Liverpool win, but my betting tip is over 2.5 half goals. <laughs> Next up, we got Slavia Praha taking on Soveta. Now, Soveta have absolutely nothing to play for in this game. They sit third. They came in off a big 1-1 draw against Roma. It was an actually very, very even game. Soveta even creating the better chances. The last time these two teams met, uh, Slavia Praha won 2 no. Slavia Praha also coming off a 3-2 win over Sheriff. Sheriff actually put in a very, very good shift, scoring with their only two shots on target. Slavia Praha needing a 95th minute goal to win that one. The, what the scenario is, is Slavia Praha said first two points ahead of Roma. A win will see them through to the playoffs, and even a draw could do it for them. I think Slavia Praha get this done. 3-0 to Slavia Praha. My betting tip, Slavia Praha at a handicap of minus one and a half. <laughs> Then the other fixture in this group, Roma taking on Sheriff. Roma need to win this. Slavia Praha need to lose for Roma to get automatic qualification, but it's probably unlikely. Roma are probably have to, going to have to go into the playoffs. Now, they're coming off that 1-1 draw against Saveta. Lukaku scoring again. The last time they played against Sheriff, they beat them 2-1. Sheriff, that 2-3 loss to Slavia Praha. Put in a good shift, just didn't create enough chances. I think Roma should get this one done, especially at home. I'm going for a 3-0 Roma win, and my betting tip is Roma at a handicap of minus 1.5. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next up, we got Bayer Leverkusen taking on Molde. Now, uh, Bayer Leverkusen have already qualified top of this group with five wins from five. They also sit at the top of the Bundesliga unbeaten this season. They're just a really, really good outfit. Molde coming off their 2-2 draw against Karabakh. They dominated the game, but just couldn't close it out in the end. They are tied on points with Karabakh and need a win here if they want any chance of qualifying for the playoffs. I think Bayer Leverkusen are so hot at the moment. I'm going for a 3-1 Bayer Leverkusen win. My betting tip is Bayer Leverkusen to win and over two and a half goals. <laughs> Next up, we've got Lask taking on Toulouse. Lask have absolutely no chance of qualifying for the playoffs. Toulouse need a win or a draw will secure them a playoff spot. Lask coming off that 4-0 loss to Toulouse, uh, to Liverpool. Toulouse coming off the 0-0 draw against Union SG. The last time these two teams played, Toulouse ended up winning 1-0. I think this is going to be a close one. There's a lot to play for. I think Lask at home will want to finish uh, the Europa season off with a bang. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw, but my betting tip is both teams to score. Next up, we got Brighton taking on Marseille. An absolute heater of a game. Marseille sit first, Brighton sit second, two, one point behind Marseille. So winner takes all here. A, a draw will, will do for Marseille. Brighton coming off a 1-0 win over Athens. Athens had more shots, but just couldn't find the back of the net and then got a red card in the 65th minute and Brighton took their opportunity. The last time these two teams met, they drew 2-2. Uh, Marseille also coming off a big 4-3 win over Ajax. Very heated game throughout. Marseille sealed the deal in the 93rd minute. This one could honestly go either way. There's a lot to play for. Both teams will have a chance to make it into the playoffs guaranteed already because Ajax and Athens have no chance. I'm going to go for a 3-2 Brighton win, but my betting tip is both teams to score. Next up, we got Real Betis taking on Rangers. Now, this is a group where anything can happen in the final match day. Rangers sit first in the, uh, Real Betis sit first in the group on nine points. Rangers sit second on eight, and Slavia Pra sits third on seven points. Real Betis taking on Rangers here. The last time they played, Rangers lost. 1-0. Now Rangers are coming off a 1-1 draw against Aris Limassol, who have no chance in this group. Real Betis is coming off a 1-0 loss to uh, Sparta Praha. This is going to be an absolutely entertaining game, probably one of the most fierce games of the game week. It's too close to call. I'm not sure who's going to go through in this one. So I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw here, but I think I'm going to go for the betting tip Rangers to win or draw. <laughs> Another fixture in this group is Aris Limassol taking on Sparta Praha. Now, Sparta Praha need a win to try and qualify. Yeah, Aris Limassol can't qualify. Aris Limassol coming off that 1-1 draw against Rangers was a, a feisty game. Aris Limassol getting six yellow cards in that game. The last time these two teams played, Sparta Praha beat them 3-2. I do think it's going to be tight. I think this game means a whole lot more to Sparta Praha, which is why I'm going to peg them to win. I'm going for a 2-1 Sparta Praha win. My betting tip is both teams to score. Next up, we've got Olympicos taking on Baka Topolo. Now, neither of these sides have a chance to qualify for the knockout stages. Olympicos coming off a big 5-0 loss to Freiburg, got completely outplayed. They only managed one shot on target. They do sit third in the group, so they won't want to finish last. So maybe there's something, a little bit something to play for there. The last time these two teams met, they drew 2-2. Bucket Topolo coming off a close 1-0 loss to West Ham. Only goal was scored in the 89th minute of that game. I think this will be tight. I'm going to go for a 2-0 Olympicos win, but because I think it's going to be tight, the betting tip is Bucket Topolo at a handicap of plus 2.5. <laughs> Next up, we got Ajax taking on Athens. Now, neither of these teams can qualify, so not a bit of a nothing game here. Ajax coming off that 4-3 loss to Marseille. Got a red card and four yellow cards in that game. Very, very heated game. The last time these two teams met, it was a 1-1 draw. Athens coming off that 1-0 loss to Brighton. This one could go either way. I'm going to go with Ajax for a 2-1 win just because they're playing at home and maybe it means a little bit more to them. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 Ajax win and my betting tip is Ajax to win. <laughs> Next up, it's a big game. We've got West Ham taking on Freiburg. West Ham sit first on 12 points. Freiburg sit second on 12 points. The only thing dividing them is goal difference. So whoever wins this game finishes top. A draw suits West Ham 
more than it does Freiburg. West Ham coming off that 1-0 win over Bucket Topolo where they really pushed them, had to seal the deal in the 89th minute. The last time these two teams met, West Ham beat Freiburg 2-1. Now Freiburg coming off that big 5-0 win over Olympicos, dominated the game. This is going to be a tight game, but I think West Ham at home will get this done. 3-1 to West Ham and my betting tip is West Ham to win. <laughs> Next up, we've got Sporting taking on Sturmgras. Now, Sporting coming for a 1-1 draw against Atalanta. So we're probably slightly the better side, but a draw there will do. They currently sit second in their group on eight points, three points behind Atalanta. So, a win here and an Atalanta loss could serve them quite nicely. Sturmgras have absolutely no chance of qualifying. The last time they played here, uh, played this fixture, uh, Sporting beat Sturmgras 2-1. Sturmgras coming off a 1-0 loss to Rakao. Very uneventful game. They had to win that game to stay in the qualification battle. For me, I do think it's going to be tight. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw here, but my betting tip is Sturmgras at a handicap of plus one and a half. <laughs> And lastly, we got Rakao taking on Atalanta. Rakao, nothing to play for. Atalanta, a win here, puts them in that first position. The last time they played, Rakao lost 2-0 to Atalanta. Atalanta coming off that 1-1 draw against Sporting. Sit first, 11 points, 3 points behind Sporting. Rakao at home have, sh have proved that they are a difficult nut to crack. So I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw here. Atalanta probably will, will win, but I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. And my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Thank you.